It's gonna be. Your I mean, I can do. It. I can fly either. But you want to fly the glider, right? Yeah. If you kick it into. Do you just want to do one run with you flying the hex, and then I'll bring the glider back, and then do another one and we'll switch? I think it's just gonna be one. <laughs> so we're gonna take this chuck glider. It's just a two-channel, and put a string on it. I'm gonna put it on the hex and drop it. Uh, I need to test flight this, fly this from a little bit higher than we can chuck it. So that's the idea. And Alex is gonna fly the hex. Yeah. See how it goes. First go back and then decel to 15 meters. Okay. And then you can take it over. That all the way down, that switch, all okay. the way down, and it's gonna go home. And is it is the GPS mode on? Um, no, it's not GPS mode. It's going to be... It's just like auto level? Yes. <laughs> How is that working? <laughs> <laughs> just go! <laughs> I think we should have used a longer string. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, release it. Didn't really think about the wind. Okay, so the release works. The string seems to be a bit short, but I don't want I'll fly. I should fly the other one. Okay. Release it. <laughs> I thought I did. <laughs> Stop. There you go. Oh, man, that was sketchy. <laughs> I was one of those really bad ones. How is it? Pretty strong. If it wasn't so windy. Not bad. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I'm, I'm glad that it turned out, everything turned out all right. <laughs> you want to try a longer string? Do you want to try a longer string? Yeah, it sounds like you do. Uh, I think it's going to tangle again. In the, it just the, tangled. We need like a... Something hard for the first part, something. Or if we could figure out, just like mount it to the landing gear. I guess you can't really hand launch the head. So it's, it's equally bad all the time. That's gonna, gonna mess up everything. How about a no uh, the problem is it it bounces and gets sucked up into <laughs> the rotors. I mean as long as it doesn't get tangled in a motor. I think it, it looked like it was stabilizing pretty, pretty well. This is the main problem. I was like trying to fly a while, <laughs> while it was connected. I was trying to like keep it out of the way. Go through one of the back ones and deliberately get it away from everything else. Yeah. Questionable hexa lift thing. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Getting some air there. <laughs> okay, I'm really <laughs> cool. I think a prop stopped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, that didn't go too well. I would still call it a success, <laughs> but mm. that's just two arms and two props. Two arms, two props. Shows that the uh, hex takes a pretty good beating. Yeah. Actually, that's not bad. 
That was a pretty hard crash. Definitely. Good job, 3D Robotics. <laughs> you want to go in? <laughs> I think we're done for today. <laughs> oh actually, look, it took a it, chunk out of the wing. Oh nice, it cut the string. <laughs> <laughs> so was it still on the servo? Yeah, there's like... Oh no, that was there. But that looks like... <laughs> yeah. Some damage. <laughs> That's just chunk. some tape. And it's, yeah. Okay, let's go in. Oh my gosh, you're lucky that didn't blow up the lipo. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, Could have chopped it right in half. Battle yeah. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Yeah.